No matter who you are, whether you're an IT administrator, a computer enthusiast, or just a regular old gamer, there's probably been a time when you've needed to do something remotely on one of your systems, and you're not in a place where it's very convenient, whether it's power cycling, updating your software, or just troubleshooting a program. But if you're like me, services like TeamViewer never fully scratched that itch due to limited functionality or the dreaded commercial use suspected shutting you down. Thankfully for us, the guys over at Pulseway offered to sponsor a video showcasing their management software, and we thought it'd be a great fit for you guys. So let's check it out, shall we? Here on the roof of our building, because why not? So Pulseway is what's known as an RMM, or Remote Monitoring and Management Software, which sounds really, really, really boring. Uh, but there's more here than meets the eye. So the main idea behind Pulseway is simple but powerful computer man- Oh crap, that still sounds boring, doesn't it? Okay, no, no, wait. So once you've installed the Pulseway software on your system, systems, uh, or like your entire office space, although we'd recommend using their deployment tool for that last one, you'll be in full control of those devices using their control interfaces, and you can do it remotely. So we're gonna start with the web version and save the best, the Pulseway app, for later. Once you've logged in, right away, you're gonna be greeted by a list of the systems that you set up earlier. In our case, we installed it on a couple for demo purposes here. First is our patent pending Google Wrecker, followed by our Steam caching server, Jake's workstation, and then of course our main production storage server, Wanik. Because who doesn't test software on their most mission critical machine? Yeah, well it's your idea. <laughs> Clicking on any one of them is gonna reveal a ton of monitoring goodness. So by default, there's actually quite a few unique controls and monitoring, um, like what we'll, we'll call them tabs, that you can play with. So here, we can see CPU usage, RAM, the temperature of the individual cores of our processor, what motherboard it's running, and even what BIOS version that the system is running. So you'll know which units, like let's say you've got a whole deployment of a bunch of systems, you can tell which ones need updating against security vulnerabilities like Spectre, for example. You can also view the total and remaining space on your drives, view and kill specific processors, like say if they're pegging the CPU at 100%, rendering it unusable, and you can even send a test print page from that system to see if the printer is actually broken or if it's just yet another ticket from like that one dude in accounting who doesn't know the difference between printing to a printer and printing to a PDF. Ridic like this is, there's no option to Export to PDF! Wait, right? Don't you think that should be, this, there's not an option to do it on here. Oh, did I mention that you can view, execute, and schedule updates with it, even down to specific types? And that's all before you even go into the features that aren't enabled by default. So with network monitoring, we can see who's using up all the bandwidth, torrenting at work. And with the notification system, this is really cool, we can go through the literally 12 tabs of different notification options that can be customized on a system by system basis so that, for example, you'll be notified as soon as your server room sets on fire and not when Colton shuts off his PC after getting fired for the 383rd time. But you've probably noticed by now that at least a couple of the machines that we're showing off here aren't running Windows. Compatibility is another really strong point for Pulseway. They've got clients for most Linux distros, Raspbian, Mac, and Windows. And the software has a full fat REST API, so you can actually code monitoring and management functionality into the services and applications that your own company develops. Then you can control those with the regular Pulseway web interface. Back to more regular users though, Pulseway also has this really cool automation tab. So basically what it includes is a bunch of sample scripts that should complement any PowerShell or Bash scripts that you import and that can easily be scheduled, like checking for and installing any critical updates outside of work hours, ensuring that you never have to look at another Windows update, or using it as an easy way to run that screen melting executable that you've been cooking up in Visual Studio to prank your coworkers. And all of this can be done on their app for iOS and Android 
as well. It is basically a complete copy of the web interface except in mobile form. So you aren't sacrificing any functionality when you're on the go. For example, you could turn on your Plex server via Wake on LAN, download your favorite show, and basically prepare yourself for a flight without ever thinking about breaking out your laptop, which admittedly probably isn't a very common use case, but I think you guys get the point. It's very, very versatile. So thanks to Pulseway for sponsoring this showcase of their RMM software. Let us know down in the comments if you have any cool ideas for how you or we could use Pulseway. Maybe it's finally time to set up monitoring on all the servers. So yeah, we should, we should yeah. so stay tuned for the next server room update. Because yeah, we should definitely do that. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Let us know in the comments if you want to see a tour of our roof. We actually were counting and we have almost as many rooftop cooling systems as the entire rest of our building and the two other buildings in our complex combined. Because we're ridiculous like that. We just care about our employees' comfort. Brandon's comfort. Brandon's comfort in particular. And Tyler. Mostly. Yeah, Brandon and Tyler. Yeah, Brandon and Tyler. They, got, they have the highest HVAC investment per, per, person per person in the company. Per capita. Yeah.